Hello you guys, my name is Rin and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another speed build for you and it is a modern penthouse apartment and I am, I just got so inspired. You guys, I went on a spontaneous trip the other weekend to New York City. I used to live in Brooklyn and I would commute into the city for school and I did that for almost two years and it was a magical experience. I absolutely love New York City. I, you know, even though I'm an introvert, um, I really like being around energy and the hustle bustle of people going to and from their jobs, their appointments, and their business. I just really pick up on that energy. I, I just love how productive it is. I love how, I guess you could say, optimistic it is because it's everything is going towards something. Every effort, every step, every person in New York is hustling and I just I just love being around that kind of buzz. So, being back was an absolute joy. I had a wonderful time. I also got to see Hamilton, which was amazing. I love the soundtrack and it was so cool to see it in person. So, um I know that they're doing a big you know, they're opening a lot more shows across the, the country right now. So if you are able to get tickets, I highly recommend going. And even if you aren't, I really recommend getting the soundtrack to Hamilton. It is amazing. I mean, just stellar, 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 stellar. Listen to it. Oh my gosh. I, 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 I can't right now. I can't even describe how good it is. It's so good. But anyway, being in New York really inspired me to build this modern penthouse because when you're when you're walking around the streets of the city, you see just so many different types of architecture, a lot of traditional architecture from some of the oldest buildings, some of the historic buildings in a city, all the way to more modern apartments and high rises. And I just wanted to play around with the thought of a very powerful, successful woman who had this gorgeous penthouse at the tippy top of a skyscraper. And, you know, what that, you know, I want to play around with the idea of, well, what would that look like, especially in a kind of pink, black, white, with hints of turquoise sort of color scheme. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> and I really, really like it. I think it's a great departure from what I am normally interested in, in building and designing in The Sims. And, you know, I do like modern, but I typically like modern with a bit more of a subtle color palette. So doing the pink was so much fun and having the pops of turquoise or teal, whatever you'd like to call it, were really, I just think really add some character to the entire design. So I had a wonderful time with this. Also, when I was in New York, I... I saw we were, my husband and I were down in Greenwich Village. I, I believe this is where we saw this apartment. It could have been a bit more south of there, but nonetheless, we went, we were in Greenwich Village or somewhere abouts, and there was this apartment, and we were looking up. It wasn't too high. It was maybe, goodness, no more than 10 stories tall. And on the tippy top, which, you know, this isn't uncommon, but we just from the angle we were seeing it, it was really cool. You could see trees and a, and a garden kind of setting, but it wasn't a very manicured garden. And not to say that it was messy and you could tell that it was unkept. It just was a bit more natural and untouched um, in that it, it looked very much like Mother Nature had just decided to plant up there, but in a very orderly way. <laughs> it was very maintained. You can you could tell from the angle. There was no, nothing dead hanging off of the sides of this roof or anything. But I really like the idea of having, you know, in New York, they make use of their roof spaces and they put gardens and bars <laughs> and other things. So I really wanted to make the space, the outdoor space in this penthouse be green. I didn't add as much foliage or trees as I thought I would, um, considering the inspiration for this, but I still think it's a really nice space and it still offers that kind of urban greenery, if you will. So I think it came out pretty good. So in the living room kitchen and what are we, living room, kitchen, and I guess you could say a little mini study to the side. I really wanted to keep everything open air. And um, there's a really clear path, 
uh, through line um, through the house. Um, it's really hard to see when we're going this fast, especially when I'm trying. I had a heck of a time with the rugs, by the way. You will see a lot of things kind of change over and over and over and over. I wasn't sure how to decorate this sometimes because again, when you limit yourself to a color palette and you choose not to do CC, which is how I choose to build, um, you do have to get kind of creative <laughs> with exactly what you put and where. So finding items was kind of a, of a chore, but the struggle is always worth it to, to me. So I think it came out just fine, but so two, uh, let's see well, where we're looking at. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to explain. But anyway, I'm just going to describe it to you as best as I can, even if what we're looking at is not what I'm talking about. <laughs> so when you, there's obviously the elevator that brings you up to the penthouse and there's an entryway that, you know, where the mailbox is and the garbage chute, which is that big pink rectangle room area. Then you have the front door, which is just clear glass. But then when you get into the the, the living space, um, the dining room, and the um, study, I guess you could say, through the kitchen, there are two ginormous doors that go through that open out to the outdoor space. So I really liked that you could access the outdoor area really easily and from either side of the house or the penthouse, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I should call it. Uh, in here, I, I was like, okay, I don't want guests uh, because this is definitely sort of a party house. It definitely really lends itself to hosting people. I didn't want all the guests to have to go all the way upstairs to use the master. So right behind the wall where this desk is, is a teeny tiny bathroom that's just a sink and a toilet and that's it. Um, but that way guests don't have to trek up the stairs. <laughs> to um, relieve themselves. And uh, I'll show you, the pictures will be, the pictures will explain a lot at the end. It is so overwhelming. Um, I do believe that I had to, I had to speed this all up to about 3000 times the original length because I was pushing a half an hour on this, on this video. And I just thought that is way too much time. So Sorry if this is too fast. I could always in the future potentially do two different parts and I'm totally willing to look into that, but um, I'm willing to look into that at the same time. I generally prefer to have a build be in one video because I think it's just much more fluid. You know, we kind of get, get to the goods at the end um, when you want them versus, you know, delayed gratification, satisfaction, whatever the term is. I think it's gratification. Yeah, delayed <laughs> gratification. And uh, so, but if I ever do a huge build, um, I'll totally consider, you know, making a few episodes out of the build footage so that you guys aren't so dizzy watching this because even while I'm recording it, it is hard to keep up with, but you get the idea. This took a while and I took a lot of time figuring out exactly what objects I wanted and where, and, you know, figuring out the layout was an interesting, um, kind of thing to explore. You'll see, well, the bathroom was odd because you do have an odd corner. And because I really wanted, I wanted the bed to kind of mimic the same angle that the desk downstairs and the TV downstairs were at. They're at, you know, diagonals. So I wanted the bed to have that same kind of thing going for it, but that really made the bathroom a little tricky, but it worked out. So it just took a little bit of time. Um, the space behind the the bed, it's just empty space. You can't, your sim cannot access it at all. It's just purely there as, you know, just an, an empty, unusable room at this point, the way I'm doing it. Um, it just serves as the back drop to the bed and whatnot. However, if you, you know, really wanted to, you could take out one of the windows that I put in that wall next to the bed and you could put a door in and certainly make it a completely different room. I mean, goodness, you could even make it a walk-in closet. So uh, we're looking at that right now. You can see the slats in the wall. Those are windows. You could totally replace them with a door and uh, have a completely new usable space. So, but for me in this build, I want to do this. And the reason I put those slat windows in was to quote unquote, like let light through because on the other side of that wall in that unusable room, there are 
two of the massive crisscross windows that you see everywhere. And so in theory, if you don't use that room, you still want the light to come through into the bedroom. So that's why I put the windows on either side of the bed. And uh, okay, so you'll, you might recall in my last, goodness, I think it was my last let's build, it was another apartment. <laughs> I'm kind of into apartments right now, but that one was a budget-friendly starter apartment and there was this yellow chair and I absolutely love this chair. It has this gorgeous floral um, pattern and so I found the pink equivalent of that, which was so nice because the pink version of that chair also has the turquoise kind of in it. It's more of a mint green, but I, I mean, you could read it as turquoise and it works just as well with the whole color scheme. So I was really excited about that. In the bathroom, decorating it, I think I just ended up putting a mirror. Um, and oh, this home is very, I guess you could say workout friendly. There is a, what do you call it? There's a treadmill inside. And then eventually you'll see on this top patio portion, I put in a yoga mat. I actually changed the color of it um, a little later on, but I just wanted to remind myself that I did want a little, a little meditation chair, stool, okay, well, object, <laughs> a little meditation seat, and um, a yoga mat, so I just kept those up there to remind me. I ended up putting a pool here because it just seemed like the right space for that. It was, you know, it kind of jetted off just enough, and it, there was enough room for a modest-sized pool, and I, I really like it. You'll see something I love playing with in The Sims are these kind of lattice gazebo type structures. I just think that they add a lot of character and a lot of visual appeal to builds and I just really love adding them. So that's why you kind of see a lot of that in this build. Plus they sort of mimic the the windows which you know kind of ties everything together. Sorry if you heard that. I accidentally hit my keyboard. Um, so here I'm just really deciding how much lighting and what kind of lighting I want on the outside. And let me tell you something, figuring out how I wanted to decorate and furnish the outside patio was a huge chore. It took me forever and that is why this video is so dang long because I could not figure out what I wanted to do. If I like what I'm doing right now, the couch didn't seem to work, the chair didn't seem to work, the little poof chair didn't seem to work. The black little stools didn't seem to work. And they're not even stools, but more like cushion chairs. The little square guys didn't seem to work. The flooring didn't work. The rugs didn't work. The layout, nothing was working. I was getting so, so frustrated. And just think of this, think of it this way. This took me so long to figure out and to get how I wanted it. We're watching this whole process at 3000 times the speed and it still feels really slow. Think about that. <laughs> that little seating area was the death of me. <laughs> and that took a long time to get to, but I'm finally so happy with it. Oh, I'm so relieved that I, I figured that one out. It, it really tried me. It really tried me. I can't even, I can't even tell you. And there were still like little details. I wasn't sure if I wanted lights in, in, in you know, near the seating areas. I wasn't sure if the light coming from the house was enough, especially from the, the wall sconces on the outside, on the exterior walls. And it, there was just a lot of, I would do a little bit and then get rid of it a little bit. And, you know, I, it needed to also make sense going down the, the, the patio portion towards the pool. And just, it, it just wasn't, <laughs> nothing made any sense. And that is why you are seeing me struggle so hard and you will eventually see, I reconcile all of this finally. And it finally all makes sense. What I ended up doing was that left portion where I'm fiddling with the rug right now, that pretty much stayed the same minus, I think, the table and the rug. And then this corner, I just decided, okay, every corner is just gonna look a little different. And I ended up doing this, which I think really helped fill that space without it competing with 
the structure of the building. Like that corner was weird because if I tried to mirror that exact same left corner by the door right in front of the other window, I mean, it just, long story short, it just wasn't balancing right visually. And I just had to kind of give up on that and pursue something different, which I think it worked out though. I think it looks really nice. It looks really inviting. And that whole space just starts to make more sense. And I was able then to mirror a smaller version of the kind of rectangular corner um, in this corner and have it, you know, make sense as well. Um, I think I actually end up putting, I think I just end up putting another circular spot. Golly, I have no idea. I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> I can't, I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> we'll see. It took, this took me a long time. So, but Anyway, I found these benches that, you know, I think they're from the Vintage Glamour pack and they just worked really well. Um, and I just, it, eventually everything resolved and came together to create this. And here is the final product, the entryway from that is the elevator and the trash chute. There's the mailbox and the front door looking straight across from the elevator. Here we're looking through the front door into the living space. And here is inside in the entry, inside the front door. I really like that. I love the pink so much. Here we're looking from the TV onto the living room and the rest of the house. And here we're looking from the couch at the TV. So you get all of the kind of, you get the idea of all the color, the entire color scheme, if you will. Here's just another angle. And I wanted to include a picture of the TV itself just to show you the details and kind of um, that corner specifically and that angled wall. Here's a chess table with some chairs and a bar a bar globe here you're looking at the desk obviously and i wanted to show you the headphones and two cameras that are on the desk just a fun little touch there and here's another look at the chess table way in the back with the desk in the foreground here is the bathroom um there's a there's a door to the right and um that door is to the left of the desk when you are facing the desk. So here's that little corner bathroom. I wanted the ceiling shot to show you how wedged in we are into that corner, but it does function. There is the gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. I really like the kitchen. I love that poster, by the way. It is one of my favorite posters in the entire game. And these chairs are to die for. I think they're so much fun and they worked really well in this space. Here's that poster again with all of the different kind of details and the mirrors over the sink and fridge and that pink is just to die for. I love it. Here, I know we saw this shot, but I wanted to remind me to let you know we are now going upstairs and here's the landing upstairs. That glass door goes to the bathroom and we will get to that in a minute. Here is the bed. I love how this turned out. I think, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's so cool too. There's a door going outside to the terrace and we'll see that soon too. Here is the treadmill and just a little spot for towels and knickknacks in that storage, the dresser, a mirror, everything you can need. Here we are finally in the master bath with a pink sink and a pink tub and a standalone shower. The robes might be a little high technically, but the ceilings are so high that I just decided to kind of raise them up. It made more sense visually. There is towels, a mirror, more mirrors, toilet, everything you need in a posh little bathroom. Here we are out on the terrace. You have a boxing bag and a music player. Here we have, I believe, Gunner and Vivian doing some yoga and meditating. Here's just a posh little shot looking down from the top terrace to the bottom terrace. And here is one of the hard fought for sitting lounge areas. Oh my gosh. That door goes into the living room, by the way. And this is from that corner spot, looking over the gorgeous modern city architecture and the corner nearest to the pool. And here's a shot of one end of the pool. It's just so, I think it's really inviting and it looks refreshing and just so nice. Here is kind of that terrace uh, lattice roof thing <laughs> that I like to put in all my builds. Far away shot of the pool and the house here. I just think it looks, stellar. I absolutely love it. This shot really just kind of puts it all into perspective. And I think we're going to go at night here. It's so much fun at night. I love it. And again, it's just such a, it's like this really modern, serene space. And I 
I just, I'm really in love with it and I hope you guys like it too. So you guys, we're gonna leave you here with Vivian and Gunner doing some yoga out on their top terrace patio. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are liking this channel, please subscribe. Guys, please also, Go follow me, go find me on Twitch, Twitter, and The Sims 4 Gallery, all Rin is in Win, the same as it is here. You guys, this build will be available in The Sims 4 Gallery. Again, just look for Rin is in Win. Remember too, that apartment uploads, uploads, they are by the, you know, the room. So it might be uploaded in different chunks. Just be aware of that. But I will try to make that really evident in the Sims 4 gallery and how you can find everything and download it properly. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love that you're here with me. Thank you for spending time with me. Love ya. See you next time. Bye.